Let x be greater than one and y be greater than one in the expression above. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to the expression above? This is a non-calculator question. Time yourself appropriately and then press play when you're ready. All right, so let's go ahead and tackle this problem. So let's change colors real quick. And what is it that we're trying to do here? Well, we're told that x and y are both greater than one, and we just wanna know which of these expressions is equivalent to this one. So essentially what that tells me, whenever you hear that, which of the following expressions is equivalent, what they're asking you to do is, hey, just go ahead and simplify or figure out a way to rewrite things. So let's go ahead and get it done. I'm taking a look at the top here and we have four terms. We have four terms, one, two, three, and four. And by terms, I'm sorry, I meant, I would say uh, variables in different places. So we have four parts here. And so if we look at all of our answer choices, we still have four parts. We still have four parts all over. So with that said, let me ask, our, you know, we need to ask ourselves, is anything being combined? Doesn't seem like it because we start with four pieces and end with four pieces. So in that case, no. So it looks like when we look at the answer choices, here we have negative exponent, negative, negative, and negative. And then in the answer choices, they're all positive exponents, or it looks like they're converted from rational exponent to radical form. Look at all of these being converted to radical form over here. So that's what I believe needs to get done. Convert all negative exponents to positive ones, and then any rational exponents convert those to radical form. So take care of negatives, and then secondly, we'll go ahead and convert to radical form. All right. So now that we have that game plan, you know, now this is where the problem is much easier to complete. So watch this. Let's rewrite everything. We have x to the power of negative 2 thirds, y to the negative 2, x to the negative 1, y to the negative 1 third. So what is this equivalent to? First things first, let's take care of everything that's negative. So let's use red here. So the x to the power of negative 2 over 3 Remember, the rule of thumb is, hey, if the power is negative, exchange it in terms of numerator denominator. So if it's in the numerator, move it to the denominator, and then you can write it with a positive exponent. If it's in the denominator, just write it in the numerator. So I'll start off with x to the negative 2 thirds. That would be x to the power of positive 2 thirds over here. Same thing goes with the y to the power of negative 2 that would be y squared in the denominator. Next, x to the power of negative one, that would be x to the power of one up top. And lastly, y to the power of negative one third becomes y to the one third up top. And there it is. Now you can say, hey, aren't we supposed to subtract these and subtract those, right, with the, with the exponents? We could, we definitely could, but remember the problem isn't calling for that. So we wanna make sure we can, you know, we have a clear understanding of what it is that we're trying to do exactly. So up next, we're gonna go ahead and convert to radical form. So I'll go ahead and use uh, blue for that. So let's go ahead and see what we have to convert. We have the x and the y squared. Those don't need to get converted. It's the y to the power of one third. And remember the rule of thumb is the numerator is the power, the denominator is the root. So we will have the third root of y to the power of one or the cube root of y. Up next, the x to the power of 2 thirds. Well, remember the three again is the root, so we have the cube root, and the power, the two, the numerator is the power there. So this is what it simplifies to according to what we're trying to do in the problem. So where's our answer then? Well, if I'm looking, uh, I'm looking for an x and a cube root y in the numerator, uh, that is not B, not C, and not D. I have a cube root of Y over here, okay. Then my cube root of X squared right there. It's on the right side, but that's okay. Because remember, two times three is the same as three times two. They're both six. 
So you can interchange those when you're multiplying. And then you have y squared over here. So yeah, a is my answer. We're all set. We're all good. Remember, it's very important to take a second just to breathe the problem in, to know what you're trying to do, and then go ahead and execute. See you next problem.